Hello again people, I'm Patrick. In this tutorial we're going to talk about n particles. So in Maya, n particles is, I'm using 2014 so we have dynamics and n dynamics. So dynamics is the classical particles. So uh, let's talk a bit about the difference between dynamics and n dynamics. I know in Maya 2016-2017 we it's all regrouped into just dynamics uh, but I think even then Maya has a differentiation between dynamics and n dynamics. So dynamics is not much different from n dynamics, uh, although it's using a classical particle engine, uh, which has been around in Maya since like version one, I think. In this classical version of Maya, the particles are born uh, without knowledge of physical attributes like uh, collisions, um, friction. Uh, or gravity. So they are just floating in space, there's no drag, there's no air resistance and uh, to get them to fall down you have to put on a gravity force so on and so forth. Uh, in n dynamics however uh, everything is just begins with an n in the menu system but uh, there are minor differences so n particles are born with a with a radius uh, which takes up space they repel each other, they have collision properties, they have friction and they have and assign weight and when you born them okay let's I'm just gonna create an emitter and uh, you see that we have an emitter and particle and nucleus for the rest of this tutorial we're gonna talk about n particles this nucleus is actually uh, the world engine that has lots of properties like uh, it already has gravity it already has air density, so on and so forth. Uh, and the particles has, uh, when I when I bond them, uh, you can see that they slow down after a while. That's because they have a drag force. Okay, uh, and if I go on to my dynamics properties, and if I don't ignore the gravity, they begin to fall down. When I create my particles, the gravity was already there provided by the end nucleus and uh, it was set to ignore the solvo gravity. But once we unignore it, it will start to take effect. And in fact, uh, you can add a wind in the solver, maybe 10. You can see it starts to affect the particles. So it's really simple to get uh, an, a simulation running. So that's just create n particles and uh, just create an emitter. Okay, so that's the difference between particle and n particle. The next difference that you will see is that you have n mesh. So that means that uh, if I have a, a sphere, I can make it collide with the particle system by making it an n mesh. So let's create a sphere here and uh, you can see that my particles are just traveling through the sphere. But uh, how you I make it visible to the particle and being able to react to it uh, is by just selecting this and creating a passive collider. So then I have a n rigid body, uh, and it's just called n rigid one. So to identify that it's related to the sphere, uh, I can just name it n sphere. Okay, so now I just need to rewind it and play it, and you can see that the particles immediately reacts to the sphere. Okay, and the good thing about n objects, n rigids, and uh, n mesh is that if I create a cloth, the cloth will also react and be visible to the sphere and to each other. So if I create a cloth, I rewind my simulation. So go to end mesh and just create an end cloth. Uh, you can see that a couple of other nodes start to appear. So that's end cloth one. So again, um, to make it more uh, easier to organize, p plane one. So I know that this end cloth represents this object. Of course, when you select this end cloth, you will see this uh, wireframe turn pink. That means there's a dependency. This plane is actually dependent on end cloth and they are related. So I just play and you can see that um, that cloth is reacting 
to not only to the particles okay but it's actually falling and taking on that shape of the sphere you get it to start a little bit centralized and you can see that it wraps around the sphere before falling off so that's that's pretty cool and pretty easy to set up wouldn't you say instead of introducing n particles i'm also introducing the n dynamics so you can see that n dynamics is is this whole unified world of particles collision geometry and actively simulating cloth geometry all at the same time